the right mic. Today's tutorial is on adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. So the two important things you have to remember when adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers, that in the fraction you need a common denominator, which means the denominator has to be the same in both fractions. The other thing you need to remember is that you add the numerator and keep the denominator the same. So in our first problem, we're lucky. We have a common denominator already. So the only thing we have to do is add the numerator, which is 1, plus 3. We keep the denominator the same, and our fraction becomes 4 eighths, or reduced to 1 half. In our next problem, we notice that the denominators are different. So we have to find a common denominator. I know that 2 goes into 6, so I'm going to change 1 half into something with a denominator of 6. So I know 2 times 3 is 6, so I'm going to multiply the numerator also by 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and my new fraction is 3 6. So I can do 5 6 minus 3 6. The denominator stays the same. 5 minus 3 is 2. My final fraction is 2 6, or simplified to 1 3rd. When you're adding or subtracting mixed numbers, it's the same thing. First, you want to make sure you always start with a fraction. So here we have 2 fifths plus 1 fifth. And luckily, our denominators are the same. So we keep the, fi the 5 as the denominator. 2 plus 1 is 3. Our fraction is going to be 3 fifths. Then we look to the whole number. We've got 2 plus 1. That equals 3. So our whole number is 3 and our final answer is 3 and 3 fifths. That is your tutorial on adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers.